Yeah, so setup wise, as we can see, nothing's really changing. Yeah. We're, all, we're always talking about looser grip because that's just something yeah. we need to get yeah. better at doing. It'll yeah. come with a bit more practice, obviously. But yeah, so swing wise, the club goes back. This is obviously a lot fuller swing. Not in a bad position there, okay? Get the club to stop the back. So that's a full swing there, okay? This one here with the shorter swings, okay, as you'll see in terms of how far the club's going back, okay? So a lot shorter, okay? That's as far as that club goes back right. there, okay? Now, with that swing on the right hand side, we could say, again, it's tough to put an exact number on that, I guess, if that's kind of how far the club's going back, one quarter, two quarters, three quarters, a full, you're probably another fifth further on round yeah. there, okay? Now, if we look at the down swing on this one, when that club starts going forward, oh, yeah. your right shoulder going forward, the club now outside yeah. the line here quite a lot. You well, can see just one impact. Okay. Yeah, left arm there, sort of right mm. shoulder coming over, and the club now swings to the left, bit toey, mm. bit on your tiptoe, looking a bit shruggy, okay? Mm. And you see the club there, where it's like this one here now, where the right shoulder stays back, and you try to keep your shoulders to match up with the club on the ground. So as you come into impact here now, your shoulders at yeah. this point are kind of line yeah. with there, you see? Yeah. And look at the club going the golf ball. Is that club going more? That's working yeah. more from an in inside path yeah. there. Look at your position in terms of your hands relative to your body. Look at the gap there. Mm. Mm. Your arms aren't out there reaching mm. for the ball, okay? And not trying to hit the golf ball this way. As you come into the golf ball here now, a much more efficient strike. Ball with screen there dead centre. And again, with a swing that you would regard as not a long swing, that was 120 yard green, I think. Yeah. And that ball, you can see, just quite handsome. It's pretty much landing, I think it's landing, wait, well, move frame there. Yeah, it's landed there now. It's landed like mm. 100 yards, 110 yards with a small half chip. Mm. If you relate that amount of energy with the backswing being further to a swing that's efficient as that impact here and that movement there, where the right shoulder sort of stays back a lot more sort of softer mm. with that body movement, mm. this one's a lot better as opposed to that kind yeah, of... Kind of yeah, try, yeah, yeah. And I think what happens, all your power for you feels like it's going to come from this sort of right shoulder. If this stays back, then we can get more speed there. If he sh throws forward, the club yeah. now is going to left behind yeah. going, yeah. hang on a minute, I've got to try and do something. Mm. And then, of course, then the swing's going yeah. left, you're Nothing facing... to drive the ball forward. Exactly. So that we keep the, keep the club back, let the lower half work if we can do, but just feel the body a bit quieter, let the arms come down, mm. and then getting used to that feeling of the hands and arms sort of spinning that bag anti-clockwise or whatever. So as a warm-up when you before you hit some shots or when you're going to play, hit a few shots there, just try to get the ball to go this, go low left. Just get your hands and arms working this yeah, way. Yeah. And then to try and change that, utilise your shoulders on the club. As you can see, when you were set up here now on the mat, your shoulders pretty much on line target. Mm. Okay? And the, uh, different colour. and the club there was matching to your path, okay? Or what the path we're trying to achieve, okay? Mm. As you swing back here now, we can see your shoulders... Are kind of matching up with that club on the ground, especially as you're twisting, the shadow's obviously moving as you come back to the golf ball. We're going to keep that there. You see, just for impact here now, your shoulders, I say, pretty much on that. That's kind of your shoulder line yep. there. Club's just about in view, hitting the ball there. Still not far from that line, are they? Mm -hmm. Hit the ball and then you twist through. Okay? Compared to this, when we hit the yeah. golf ball here now, the shoulders are yeah, squared yeah. up, clubs out there hitting the golf ball, the shoulders are just. It's a big old mm. right shoulder hit. And a lot of that, I think, just stems from the fact trying to hit the ball left. When you control the club face better, you can send the ball more to target because you're not fearful of the shot kind of going <laughs> and curving this way. Okay, And when you did it with the 8-iron, it was a much more efficient hit. You were getting 130, 140 with your 8-iron and your 7-iron. Okay? If you can relate that then to the driver, that's going to equate to about 200, so, 210 with the driver. So, so I'm better off working at it with yeah yeah until yeah. so it becomes yeah and build up yeah. yeah the same way we shortened the swing and slowed it down if we shorten the club and make it easier and when you sort of feel comfortable at that level yeah. then you get a bit faster yeah. get a bit longer go to a six iron then go to maybe a hybrid and then a and just build it back up till you feel comfortable yeah. okay yeah. obviously when you're on the golf course just go out and play full golf and don't, don't think about trying to make too many changes on no. the golf course just go out and play golf but in here remembering in practice sport, yeah. remembering how the movement's going to make a big thing okay mm. right a couple of them with that um, driver there then we'll go back to a few irons just to sort of change things up but uh, yeah it will take a bit longer Steve with the driver just as to say a longer club and with the club being further away from your hands there's less control with said club yeah but um, no it's looking good though once you get that path better it's a good old movement to be fair